Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'd like to share with you another Morphe palette. So today I'm going to be swatching and sharing a look using the Morphe Day Slayer which is the 15D. Yesterday I shared with you the 15N and before I talk about this one I want to just share with you what I thought about the 15N, how it performed throughout the day. So I added the eye look around about 12 midday you know one o'clock that time frame and I took the makeup off around about 10 o'clock last night so I had it on a good you know 10 hours um, now when I removed it I noticed that the mattes looked the same so they looked the same as when I applied them the shimmer unfortunately didn't fare so well um, I do have oilier lids so my, my lids are a good test on any shimmer shades and I must say that the lid shade um, was near enough completely disappeared from my lid the inner corner highlight was still there and a tiny bit from the inner part of my lid was still there but unfortunately most of the shimmer on my eye had had disappeared so if you have oily lids and you have a slight hooded eye then um, the uh, shimmers from the 15n may not be for you but the mattes were incredible like I say they still looked as good um, now the day slayer I've already done the swatch just like I did yesterday with the 15n I don't know if the formulations are different obviously they're different uh, different colors and um, the 15n is more neutral with a pop of berry shades this one is totally different and I must say even from swatching them with a finger they do seem a little different so what I'm going to do for you first of all is share with you the swatches um, I'll actually just share with you the palette first of all so I've shown you the box and um, that it comes in now it also is in this bubble wrap sleeve so there was no damage it also has one of these as well um, that I've already taken out because I do tend to find I've already mentioned this that they do tend to damage the pans the packaging is exactly the same as yesterday's however I've got a little bit of spray on there today um, so but that can easily come off. Um, it's just a case of that I've sprayed something on my hair and it's just hit the palette. So apologies with that, but it does have exactly the same packaging. It does feel weighty and it does feel very um, well put together. It's not going to break anytime soon, I suppose. I also like the font, very classic. On the back, you have a little bit of writing, but not anything major. And then on the inside, you have again a huge mirror, which I'm going to cover up with the bubble wrap again. And the shades in here, I think this probably is going to be the most popular out of the two because it's got those beautiful warm tones that we all love at the moment. I really love these and I can't wait actually to share it with you the swatches. So let me just pop it this side so I got it in the right light. Okay. So this time I've put them in bunches of five so I don't get confused. So the first five, we've got the shade Natural. This one is Spark, In the Crease, Forever, and then we have Bronzed Beauty. So these are just absolutely stunning. I'm in love with this palette already and I haven't even used it. So these five, um, so this is the second row, we've got Upbeat, Glow, editor, highlight, and then define. So that's the second row. Now the third row, we've got mauve, we've got epic, blend, just eyes, and then sweet. So those are all of the swatches for you there beautiful so if you like your warm tones you are going to absolutely love this palette so now what I want to do is share with you an eye look so of course what I'm going to start off with is my Primark brush of course you can pick these up at any Primark you may now see that this part is rather than rose gold is like a turquoisey blue but nonetheless it's still exactly the same brush 
So I'm going to start off now. I'm wearing cream today. I've got quite a peachy blush and I'm also wearing um, the liquid lipstick from Morphe called Brunch. So I want it to be quite orangey and I'm really excited about this. Now I think I'm going to start off with the shade Natural, which was the first one in the palette, just to give me a little bit of a base and also a little feel of the, you know, how they're going to perform. So I'm going to just pop that as I always do into the crease and then take that a little bit higher. So that's a good transitional shade, just a, you know, a regular base shade. So that's pretty good. Now it blends very well. I love that. It's it's a nice shade. It's a natural neutral shade, but it's got that pop of, you know, warmth and orange that we're all loving at the moment. I'm actually going to run that under the eye already to give me a little bit of an eye base. Yeah, really, really like that colour. I mean, obviously it's just a neutral, but it does actually look, you know, like a quite a basic shade, but it has got that gorgeous warmth to it. So love that. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is I want to deepen it up. So I'm going to add the shade Editor, which is this shade here. So that's Editor. So it's like a matte, much more warmer and a little bit deeper. So I'm going to add that one now. Just going to put that in the crease and take that up a little bit as well. Lovely. And I'm going to add that to the other eye. Now, one thing I have noticed is, and I can always tell if I'm going to enjoy an eyeshadow or not, is that, and I've mentioned that I've got oily lids, and if I cannot see that shade up there, and obviously I've popped a primer on, I've also set it with a just a, um, a neutral shade. Um, I'm using at the moment just one of the Life on the Dance Floor make, from Rake Up Revolution, just a champagne shade, matte shade, just to matte it down so that when I do these tutorials, the base is on. Um, but even though I do that, sometimes when I pop an eyeshadow on into especially this area, so blend it into the crease and take it up, it just disappears. But with yesterday's and today's palette, that hasn't happened. Like I say, the mattes are phenomenal. I was a little bit disappointed about the staying power of the shimmers, um, but, you know, <laughs> these are very inexpensive. These are, this is 15 pounds, and I picked this up from, um, it is uk.morphe.com and I'll add the link down below. So it's 15 pounds and you're getting 15 shadows. So obviously it's a pound a shadow. So it is very inexpensive um, or relatively inexpensive, but, um, and the mats are amazing, but I, you know, I do tend to find that the shimmers do disappear. Not quite as much as the shimmer that I had on my eye yesterday. Not quite as much. So I am hoping for better things from this one. Now I've added that and I want to deepen it up a little bit more. I'm going to add Epic, which is this one here. So I'm just going to add that onto the tip of the brush. And again, just keep working it into this outer corner now they this is more of a warm deeper shade which yesterday's one was actually more cool toned 
um, but I'm really pleased that they've actually put uh, the mauve is more of a cool toned brown whereas this one is more warm toned but it's still giving me that depth that I want so that's good really love that in fact I'm going to take that out a little bit more love it they're not getting muddy um, you know they're not getting muddy at all they're looking really really good you can definitely see the crease color is different to um, you know the shade there it, I keep wondering what this um, part is and I and it's my eyelashes um, so it's not that I've put the eyeshadow on incorrectly it's when I open um, my eye my eyelashes you can see because they're quite long so I'm going to do hopefully the same thing on this eye so still keeping with that shade epic so so far I'm really liking this Like I say, they're blending well, but they're not, you know, getting muddy as such, which we really don't want that. We want to keep the shades looking separate, but blended, obviously. <laughs> and what I really like is the fact that they've got really nice neutrals in here, but with that red, not the red, the warm orange that we're all loving and so they've got some really you could definitely use this as a day palette um, but also and I'm going to just add that editor shade which was the second shade I used and just run that underneath you could definitely you know glam it up a little bit as well because there's some stunning shimmer shades in here that's better Oh, I love this absolutely love it I think out of the two palettes because I actually thought um, I was going to love the other one more just because we've all got these kind of um, palettes but actually I'm really liking how this applies I'm really liking how it looks um, it looks amazing and I cannot wait um, to actually use the shimmer shades and then I really want to use that bronze beauty which is the last shade on the first row I really want to use that it's quite unusual because it's because it's not really out there um, you know out there orange it's more of a it's like a golden orange but with a tiny hint of khaki to it that's what it looks like in the pan so anyway what I'm going to do is as usual use my finger um, to just add this onto the lid oh it's absolutely stunning it's just a beautiful shade What I really like um, is the fact, and I did find this yesterday actually when I was adding the shimmer shade um, onto my lid yesterday, was that the shimmer shades, um, they don't feel really, really thick and clumpy um, and they actually blend. When you pop them on with a finger, you can really blend them into that matte shade as well. Um, really really love that absolutely love that color it is stunning so that one is bronzed beauty so it is like a bronze but it's also like it's reminded me of a, um, a sunset actually now i'm just going to get my other brush which is also from primark the ps pro shading eye brush it's just a pointed brush you can use any brush that you choose i'm just getting into that inner corner part The problem at the moment is, of course, you can hear that I'm still um, I'm still unwell, so my eyes also keep watering. So 
because I'm sneezing a lot. So it might be, you know, that whatever eyeshadow I'm wearing at the moment is going to not stay as well as another just because, you know, my eyes are watering. So I'm going to have to keep testing. Now I'm going all the way around the eye with this. Um, there's no really light champagne shade in there. So I'm following it all the way around with this, which I really, really like to do. I nearly put a different shade on there. I really like the eye to look, you know, one look, not too many um, shades. It's just what I'm liking at the moment. But I absolutely love those shadows. So hopefully, um, I'm not sneezing quite as much as I was. So I'm hoping that um, this will stay on a little bit better. I'm just putting a little bit more of that shade Epic on the outside, just to make sure that we've still got that depth there. But oh my goodness, I'm loving this so, so much. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of Epic underneath just to make sure it's not too orangey. Oh, that is just stunning. Love, love, love that. That is such a beautiful um, look. I am loving it. I'm just going to show you the colour in the pan that I used. This is the colour that I used on my lid. Um, and it is, yeah, bronze beauty. Love it. So that was the Day Slayer, the 15D from Morphe. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that helpful and informative. If you're making your mind up about both of those palettes, I know it's tricky um, and I, obviously I had to go for both, but um, it just depends on your preference. This is obviously more of an orange sunset look. Um, the other one yesterday was more of a neutral with a pop of berry, um, which I absolutely loved as well. So I love them for both, both for different reasons, but slightly disappointed with that shimmer shade. So I'm hoping today, if I'm not sneezing too much and my eyes aren't watering, hopefully that was what the issue was but obviously I will let you know tomorrow because we're do I'm doing another Morphe palette tomorrow it is so exciting I love the colors I love the concept I just love these palettes so far um, especially the mattes so like I say, I hope you found that helpful. I would really appreciate a thumbs up if you did found, find it helpful, or of course you just want to support me. And of course, if you are brand new to my channel, please do subscribe. You don't want to obviously miss any of the other Morphe videos that I'm going to sh be sharing with you over the next few days. And of course, I always say this, your comments are most welcome. Which one of these palettes are you going to go for if you're not going to go for both? Do you like Morphe? Have you already got these palettes and are you enjoying them i'd love to hear your thoughts and of course i'd love to hear what you thought of the eye look today so until tomorrow thank you so much for watching thank you bye